Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel and I want to show you a new feature of the upcoming Privacy Idea 2.19, which will be released end of May. This new feature is a new functionality in the event handler framework within the token handler. The token handler can trigger any new token actions and we added two or three new tags to set descriptions or token informations in the token handler. I will just right now show you this. I created an event handler definition for enrollment. Imagine you have your user help desk and they are enrolling tokens and you have a bit more complicated process of enrolling tokens. The event handler checks if the logged in user is an administrator. And in case of an initialization of a token or an assignment of a token, it sets the description of the token. It sets the description, for example, to this token needs to be shipped or um, maybe your help desk needs some additional information because this is a newly enrolled token and you need to uh, start new processes like shipping the token or like uh, contacting the, the user and then help desk users can um, scan through the token list and find all the tokens with this very description or some automated processes can scan through the token list and perform actions on these tokens. And here you see we added the um, attack that the current time should be added to the token description. I think this was an old uh, functionality already in 2.18. Um, so let's take a look at it. I am logged in as an administrator and I will enroll a token and then the event handler will take care to set this description. Okay, enroll a token. Um, I enroll a time-based token and I will also scan this. Okay, first enroll the token. I will scan the token. Of course, a smartphone token probably does not need to be shipped, but I think you can make up some good ideas here. Now let's take a look at the token and we see that the description of the token is set according to the event handler definition. Okay, now we have this token here. Let's see, it's this token. So what's new in 2.19 now is that there are, that you have the possibility to set a token information and you can set additional tags. Um, so let's take again, let's again take a look at the event handling. Here I set an event handler which kicks in in case of uh, an authentication request, in case of validity check. We could set additional conditions, of course. Um, for example, that this event handler will only kick in if the authentication is successful. Um, but let's Take a, uh, let's take a look at the actions. That's the important part here. You see, I have se uh, several different possibilities to an action, to perform an action, and I choose set a token info field. And the interesting thing is I can set any kind of key here, like uh, my own blah, blast client. The interesting thing is now I have the tags client IP and I have the information of the user browser. Um, you see, I think it's, let's take it this way. And which means in case of an authentication, privacy idea will check 
the client IP and set the client IP to this arbitrary token info field. So let's see if we can do a su successful authentication. Let's take the token. This is the token. And form one eight eight zero five. And you see, this token information was added due to the event handler. The token info key, which could be anything, was set, and the client IP and the browser was set. So here you have um, any possibility to add additional information to the token in case of any event. This additional information can help you uh, to track problems, can help you help desk to um, with support cases, or can also help you to improve your automated processes. I think this is a great thing because you are very flexible and you probably will make up some good ideas how this can help your processes. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, stay tuned. And see you next time. Bye.